Hi, today we will discuss about water balance equations or hydraulic balance equations. So in these questions given, the lake's capacity storage in the beginnings of June. So 1st June 2016, storage we will represent by S. Because the storage is in unit of volume, so I didn't put times. So beginnings of the storage is 25 times power 6 meter cube. During this time, the recorded inflow and outflow of the lakes. So inflow, we will put I equals to 10 meter cube per second and outflow. O is 15.5 meter cube per second. A month later, that mean will be July 2016, the lake receive a rainfall. So here we become precipitation. Rainfall P equal to 10 centimeter and the evaporations Evapor evaporations E is equal to 40 cm and given the average surface of the lake was so area 30 kilometer square calculate the change of storage so change of storage And it's new storage. Storage new one, number two. Okay. In the end of June, eh, sorry, in, in required, required unit, meter cube at the end of July. The end of July will be the 31st of July. Assume there is no contributions or contributions to or from the groundwater storage okay so we get all the informations first how many days july 30 days 30 hari ya. how many days in 31st already so you will know it's 31st 31 hari. okay then we will calculate because required units in meter cube so we have to make sure we don't have this time frame how long will be the storage? So, because the storage is recorded during this time, data cakap pun di sepanjang Jun saja. So during these times of period, dalam kajian kita, it will conclude two months. Okay. Or a time period is one month. Two months. Okay. During the records of the inflow and outflow of the lakes. Okay. At the beginning. During this time, the recorded inflow and outflow. Okay. During this time, they take up satu bulan. So, kita conclude kan sebagai dua bulan lah. Kita akan hilangkan dia punya sebab kita nak mulakan dengan meter cube. So, we will find the time. Kita wala. Time dia will be 30 plus 31 equal to 61 days. We will change into second. Sebab nak masukkan second eh. So, start calculate. 61 days. So, nak hilangkan days, kita punya days kena di bawah lah. Kan? So, kalau one day, how many hours? 24 jam. So, ni pun boleh lah. Ya. One hour, 60 minit. Lepas tu, boleh juga kita terus kepada 60 saat lah. Sebab kita tahu, one hour, 60 dan 60 will be equal to second. Okay. Jadi ni lah akan kita tukar untuk 61 day how many second kira
61 darab 24 darab 60 darab 60 dia kalau tulis 5, 2, 7, 0 4, 0, 0 berada dot kalau engineering kita press ini button dia akan pergi ke engineering so dia bersama dengan 5.2 704 darab 10 kuasa 6 unit ni sebab kita dapat ini adalah second berapa second untuk 61 days so inflow dan outflow inflow sama dengan 10 meter cube per second jadi kalau kita tulis 10 meter cube per second so kita nak hilangkan second so second dia kena didarab lah kan kita akan darab 10.2704 10 kuasa 6 ok maksudnya darab 10 je kan jadi dia akan jadi 52 lah ok 52.704 darab 10 kuasa 6 meter cube sama juga dengan outflow 15 meter cube per second so 15 meter cube per second hilangkan kita darab 5.2704 second hilanglah jadi 15 darab 5.2704 eksponen 6 kita dapat saya guna engineering lah kan 79.056 darab 10 kuasa 6 meter cube so ini adalah inflow outflow ok kita letak tepi lo ok next we will see for this one unit dia adalah cm maksudnya length kita nak length jadi volume how you convert the length for centimeter to volume you are given the area so ini semua unit ni tidak sama kan kita akan cuba samakan dia lah so teori yang kita pernah belajar kalau volume is equal to L times L kuasa 2 this will become length anda suruh kan this is area ada juga hanya sekarang cm darab km macam tidak boleh lah so we have to change lah ok senangnya so we will write down P equals to 100 cm ok times with 30 km square you can change one by one for example 100 centimeter 2 meter so 100 cm cm 1 meter so 100 centimeter jadi dia akan jadi 1 meter sebab 100 centimeter 1 meter lah kan next we will move to 30 km square so 30 km darab km nak tukar pergi meter so kilometer 1 meter betul 1 km bersamaan dengan 1000 meter sebab ada 2 kali so kena darab 2 kali 1000 lah sorry 1 km sebab nak hilangkan km km kena di bawah So kita boleh ambil masukkan ini dan ini P kita sebenarnya adalah 1 meter darab dengan 30 darab 1000 darab 1000 you will get meter cube sebab ni meter darab meter sama meter kuasa 2 sini dah jadi meter so memang akan jadi meter kuasa 3 lah so jawapan kita 30 darab 1000 darab 1000
dia dalam 30 darab 10 kuasa 6 meter cube. Untuk P dah settle, kita akan settlekan evaporation lah. Sama juga. So, E sama dengan 40 cm darab dengan 30 km kuasa 2. Ok, luaskan kuasa 2. Jadi, kita dah dapat kalau tu bahagi 100 kan? Bahagi 100. So, 40 bahagi 100 terus jadi meter. So, untuk 30 ni boleh salin je. 30 darab 1000 darab 1000 akan jadi meter kuasa 2. So, meter darab meter kuasa 2. Kita karilah. 30 eksponen 6. 60 eksponen 6 darab dengan 40 bahagi 100. So, jawapan kita. Engineering will be 12 times power 6 meter cube. Okay. So, semua maklumat kita sudah dalam meter cube. Meter cube. Dan yang tadi kita kira inflow pun meter cube, meter cube storage at the beginning. Okay. So, mula-mula kita nak cari kita nak cari adalah berapakah storage change, perubahan storage. So, perubahan storage adalah input tolak output. Okay. Change of storage, input minus output. Input kita akan tambah dulu inflow dengan precipitation, hujan. Output will be outflow plus evaporation. So, kita akan tambah 30 eksponen 6 Oops, kena kurungan 3, 30 eksponen 6 tambah 52.704 eksponen 6 tolak 76.056 eksponen 6 plus 12 eksponen 6 So, sama dengan yang ini, kita kasih engineering will be, kita dah tulis, ni meter cube. So, storage 1 given, berapa storage yang first? Awal-awal, cari dia. Dia bagi ini. The first storage is 25 times kuasa 6 meter kuasa 3. So, now you get... Second one dengan first one tambah perubahan X. So, 25 darab 10 kuasa 6. Sebab dia negatif. Perubahan X kan. Negatif kita tulis lah. Tolak. 5.3. Dia berkurang. So, kita kalau sini tambah dia 25 eksponen 6. Inilah jawapan dia. 19.6 darab 10 6 ada dah kita cube ok